In this video, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to recreate this design using the plus add ons plugin for Elementor. When I mouse over here, you notice that our image here is moving both on the device and also on the mobile phone. So, this is the best way to showcase all your designs on different mobile devices. Hi, my name is Mag from the plus add ons for Elementor team. Every week, we produce WordPress tutorials, so be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification if you want to be a professional designer. Let's dive in and let me show you how to get started. Now, this is a four part mini series and this is the final part. If you haven't watched the other ones, please, I highly recommend that you go and watch them because I show you how to recreate all these other designs. The plus add ons plugin is very, very powerful. And if you head over here to our website, you're going to notice that we have so many widgets here that we can use to enhance our website designs. Now, before we get started with our main tutorial, I want to show you how easy it is to copy this actual design from the plus add ons website onto your own website. So this is called cross domain copy and paste. So if you hover over this image, you notice that we have this copy over here. So I'm gonna click once like that and you can see that it's copied. Now I'm going to go to my website. Now I've just briefly created a page here using Elementor. So what I'm going to do first is to click and add my structure. So I'm gonna add this structure here. Now all I have to do to copy that design over to my own website is to right click and then I'm going to come over here to plus paste. So click on that and you notice that our design has been added onto our website. Now what you notice here is our design here is based on our column structure but we need to convert this into flexbox because this is the most efficient way of designing our website. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to click here on convert and this now is going to convert our layout into the new system that Elementor uses, which is the Flexbox. Now, once you've hit convert, to see your converted design, you need to scroll all the way down here because it makes a copy. And now you can see when I hover over here, this is now using Flexbox. So now let's go ahead and delete what we've just um, done here. So I'm gonna come over here to the top. Okay, so for our first design here, this is our own custom design. So if I click here on choose image, we're going to notice that our image mockup is right here. It has a hand and it also has the mobile phone. But in your case, you can have your own designs which you can upload, which have a totally different background. Okay, so for this to work, you're also going to need an image. So here is where we have our image. So if I, again, if I click on it, you're going to notice that our image is right here. And because this is a mobile, take a note here of the dimensions. This is 173. Next, we're going to take a look here at our other device. And again, if I click over here, now this here is you know, pretty basic because this is using also a custom mockup. And how do you know this? We know that because over here, this is highlighted. If we were using all our default uh, mockups, this will be activated. So again, this is a custom mockup. And to add your image, if I click here, you'll notice that the dimensions are now different. It's 890 by 870. All right, so now let's take a look and see also what else was changed. So if I come over here into the style and go to device background, we notice that image scroll has been activated. And if I come over here to my image, these are the precise dimensions for all this to work. <music> sure you want to see how this can be recreated from scratch. So let's go ahead and let me show you how to do this from scratch. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is to delete this layout that I have here. So I'm going to go ahead and click over here. I'm also going to do the same over here. Right click, delete. And let's also get rid of um, our mouse here. So all I have now is my main structure. So the first thing I'm going to do is to add a mobile device in here. So I'm going to click here on this plus button. So what we need here is our dynamic devices. So I'm going to search for dynamic and here it is dynamic device. I'm going to drag and drop it in here. So for the first example here, I'm going to leave this as it is as a laptop. That's fine. Next, I'm going to come over here, click on this plus button. And again, I'm also going to need dynamic devices. So I'm going to search for it. And here it is, I'm gonna drag and drop it. But this time, this needs to be a mobile phone, so I'm gonna change this to mobile. And the mobile I'm looking for is the one which has a black border. But as you can see here, this looks massive, so we do need to go in and adjust the size. So I'm gonna come over here to style, 
And I'm just going to adjust my size here. Just make sure you have the right size. So let's go with that. And I'm also going to align it over here to the right. Okay, great. So, so far, so good. In fact, let me just drag this down a little bit. The next step now is to add our images. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screenshot of Elemental.com, which is right here. So this is the screenshot I need. I'm going to copy this URL. And then I'm going to come over here to this website called pickwe.com. So this is where we need to enter our dimensions. So first of all, we need to paste our URL. So for our width here, we're going to use 480 because that's what we're going to use for our mobile devices. I'm going to set it. I'm going to set this to full size and then click on capture screenshot. Okay, so we can see here that our screenshot has been captured. And here it is. All I have to do now is to right click and then save image as and I'm just going to hit save. Now we're also going to need another one. So this one here is going to be for our laptop. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come back over here. But this time this needs to be 1280. Again, I'm going to set this to full size. And this is also going to be elemental.com. I'm going to go ahead now and click on capture screenshot. Excellent. So here we are. We have our image. I'm going to right click, save image as. So for me to distinguish between the two, I'm just going to call this desktop and then click on save. So these are the two images. What you need to do now is to upload them onto your media library. So we've gone ahead and done that. So let me just show you how to add these images in now. So let's start off here with our mobile device. I'm going to click here on this pencil icon. We're going to come over here to the content tab. Click here to add our image. So let's first of all upload our images. I'm going to click on upload and then go to my desktop where I downloaded my images. So here are my two images. I'm just going to highlight them both and add them onto my media library. And then I'm going to choose my first one and take a note here over to the right. So this is for my mobile device. So it needs to be the smaller one. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Okay. So we see here that our image has been stretched. So what we need to do to fix this problem is to come over here to style device background and make sure that scroll image is set to on. And now you can see that it's now showing correctly. Fantastic. Now let's move on to our next um, mockup. So I'm going to come over here, click on this pencil icon. Again, I'm going to click here on my media type. And this time I'm going to use the bigger image, which is the 1251. Click on select. Again, we're going to have the same problem as we had here initially. So we need to go into the style device background and then activate scroll image. And now this is both showing. But as you can see, as I mouse over these, these are moving at different uh, paces. So ideally, we want that when we mouse over here, both of these are moving at the same time. And for this, we need to connect them. So let me show you how to do that. So we're going to come over here to device background. And you notice here we have dynamic uh, device connection ID. So let's just call this Mac Connect. Now we're going to come over here to uh, this mobile device. Click here on this pencil icon. We're going to go to device background. And again, over here, we're going to do the same. We're going to say Mac Connect. And now, so what I've done here quickly is to make sure I remove the spacing because uh, the space, if you add the spacing, this won't work. So let me just show you one more time. So here we have Mac Connect as one word. So this is for our first device here. And then if I come over here to our laptop, go to device background. Again, you can see that I have Mac Connect, but this can be any name you want. So let's say you want to just copy this and uh, say connect. So right now, these two are now not the same. So you can see that they're not going to be moving at the same time. So since I have this first one here, the laptop on connect, what I need to do now is to come over here, click on the pencil icon, go to device background and just make sure that the word is the same. So now that they are both set to connect, connect, this is how they're going to be working together. So pretty much that's all you need to do to connect these two. Okay, so the next step now is to add our cursor. So if you want to add your cursor, we can drag and drop it in here as well so that when we mouse over this, this is going to work. Okay, so let's head over back over here. So I'm going to search for a cursor, drag it and drop it in here. 
like that. Next, we're going to need a cursor. So I'm going to click here on choose image. So in our case here, we have an image that we are using as a cursor and it's this one right here. I'm going to click on select. So now our cursor has been added. Now, in your case, if you want to use your own cursor, what you can do is to go to this website called flaticon.com and you can just search for uh, a cursor. This could be an arrow. And here you can see we have quite a few arrows. So whatever one you choose, uh, maybe you could use one of these, which is similar to what we are using. So you just click on download and this will download as a PNG, upload it onto your website. And this is where you'd add it. So you just click over here on cursor icon and this is where you'd add it. But uh, be sure that you uh, take a look here at the sizes. This should not be too big. Otherwise, this won't work. So make sure you are sticking between uh, 50 by 50 or in our case here we have 42 by 58 then once you've added your cursor to preview this you want to save it first click on update now let's take a look at this in a new tab and now you notice that when i scroll over it this is now working and these are both working at the same time <music> cases where you may need to go in and do some customizations if this does not fit in very well. So let me show you where to do that. So if I click here on this pencil icon, I'm now back on my dynamic device and I'm working on this mobile device. So if I come over here to style, this is where we were before. If I come over here to um, the duration, you, of course, you can, you know, play around with the duration on how uh, you how long you want this to be. So as you can see, the plus add ons for Elementor is very, very powerful. If I come over here now to the site, we notice that we have so many features. In fact, over here, just on the widgets, we can see that we have our dark mode, table of contents. We also have video player. Now, just this alone has a lot more features to customize your video player. And this is really, really awesome. And also, if you haven't watched the previous episodes, I do highly recommend that you go and watch part one, part two, and part three. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when we release new tutorials. Till next time, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.